And they even ransacked the kitchen, took the microwave and my pots and pans. And On the heels of Veterans Day, someone took advantage of a local sailor. He just got back from a two-week training mission only to find thieves broke into his home and stole everything. He talked to 10 on your side's Jason Marks. Jason? Tom, the sailor called 10 on your side because he hopes to find whoever stole all his stuff. Find the person who turned his life upside down. I've always had that theory, everything happens for a reason, but it's one of those things I just, I can't figure out why. Gone for just a matter of weeks, Adam Poole now came home to find his 29th Street Norfolk house looked much different than when he left. So it looks like they pried the gate open and came through the back. Through the gate, the thieves then ripped out an air conditioning unit in the backyard. And then from there, it looks like they took everything right out the back door. Poole now is a sailor stationed on the USS Kearsarge. He was gone on a two-week training mission and couldn't believe his eyes when he walked back through his front door. Complete shock. Like I, I almost shut down because I didn't know what to do. The house was ransacked. And you always hope it's never going to happen to you. Most of his valuables are gone. This room had TV, my laptop, uh, my gun, <laughs> ammo. They ransacked the, the spare room here, took the washer and dryer. Actually, that one has a light. <laughs> and went through everything here. And this is pretty much all that's left. And they even ransacked the kitchen, took the microwave and my pots and pans. And No room was left untouched, no drawer still intact. It's frustrating knowing that you're out there protecting and serving and you come home and somebody has the audacity to you know, steal everything that you've worked hard for, everything that you've put blood, sweat and tears into. Even more upsetting is that none of the neighbors saw anything didn't see the person who was loading up item after item that wasn't theirs. If somebody knows something, I just wish they would step forward, call the police, tell them, hey, this is you know, what I witnessed, this is what I saw. Paul now really hopes that person who might have seen something comes forward and gives police that much needed info to make matters worse. He's getting married next month, and now he and his fiance literally are going to have to rebuild their lives. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.